Hey guys, it's me, Woobers, and today we are back playing some more Try to Fall Asleep. Now this is the final night of the early access version of this game, and I'm really looking forward to it because I have really enjoyed this game so far. It's been a lot of fun, you know, unwinding this guy's trauma, watching as he deals with these hallucinations and nightmares and everything trying to kill him, but also it's just been a really cool story so far and I've really enjoyed it. But now we're onto the final night and we have to see what attacks us now, what tries killing us now, and see if our character can make it through. Well, they would, I mean, they would have to make it through if there's two more nights, but you know what I mean. But before we get into this video, guys, please make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And go ahead and ring that bell. That bell will notify you of when I post next. But with that, let's get into the game. I guess, I mean, from what I'm assuming we passed out at the consultation. I mean, if this is a hospital, I mean, just being rolling on your back, like, ah, oh, I can't, that just makes me think hospital, like one of the gurneys, but I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see how it takes us to fall asleep now. Loading. Night four. Hey, Mr. Heron. So, Hi. Uh, about that consultation. That yeah, what about it? Wasn't it? Yeah, it was. You really caught Dr. Norbert by surprise. How? The current theory is the hallucination you've been having in the daytime might be the amalgamation of your entire horrific experience on that island. But okay. it could be just a byproduct of the other hallucinations. Or okay. it could be something else. Like what? On the other hand, your memory recovery is phenomenal. The amount of recovered memories is rapidly increasing. If we okay. pick up the good case, we might be able to check you out. Okay, why what's up with the the you know, the frequency interruption? Promise? Yeah, promise. Promise what? Oh, that's wonderful. I knew I could count on you. And by the way, we did try to fix that damaged lamp. But when okay. we plugged it in, it blew out the fuses to the house. So there's no Just get me a lamp! It's not that hard. Go to Ikea, Costco, anything. Both Hannah and I run on battery. As for the light source, you still have a flashlight. It should help you get through the night. Remember that it's on battery. Okay. So we went from a lamp to flashlights. That's nice. That's nice. Yay! really isn't an optimal location for you anymore. And since the hallucinations are getting more serious, we decided to scramble together our funds and transfer you to a rehabilitation. That's where it should have been in the first place. I don't like that. I don't like when you do that. Okay. I'll leave you. Okay. Night night. night night. Thank you. You suck. Why is it? Why is the lights red? A B, buddy. Can you explain that? Okay. Take a pill real quick. Okay. Now close eyes. I forgot how to do everything, like any covers and all that, but. Uh. -uh. Something was in my. Uh, something was in my sight, in my dream, and I didn't like it. Okay. What am I looking at? I'm running through... The hall? Not really sure exactly. Gunner. Mm-mm. I hear breathing. I heard breathing. What are you? What are you? What are you? Okay, it's gone. That was weird. I didn't know what that was. It had like little, I don't know, lines, like whimsical little lines. Wait, who opened that drawer? Was that drawer always open? Who opened that? I don't. Let's take another pill. I just speed this up. Okay. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Hurry up. You get, get through the night. The faster you fall asleep, the faster we can get through a rehabilitation center. And the faster everything will be okay. Ah, ah, get under the covers. Okay. A B, shut your mouth, buddy. You're not the one dealing with this. Okay. The thing is, is he somehow knows that a monster or anything is going on. I'm not sure how he knows, but he knows because he talks right after it happens. So there's something going on there. He's part of all this. This is all some scam. It has to be. It has to be some part of a scam. A B, what's going on? Explain to me, bud. Okay, just keep trying to fall asleep. It'll be okay. 
Everything will be okay once you. Ah! Ah! Get under the blankets! <sighs> I hate him. I hate him so much. I hate him so, so much. Anything in here? I see whimsical lines. I don't like those little. What are those? Why are those? Explain. What is happening outside? That's so. That's pretty! Oh my. Look how pretty that is! Oh my god, I would love to experience that. That'd be I'd be so cool to see outside. Like imagine just looking outside and seeing that. I mean sure I'd probably think like a bomb or something went off, like a nuke, and I'm dealing with radiation poisoning or something, but you know it's pretty. Uh uh. Ah, uh, get underneath. What is that? Don't give up, okay? What type of gerbil man was that? What, it was like a mole rat or something. What was that, A B? I was looking at the pretty lights and this man with some like mole teeth comes at me and oh what am I supposed to do about that? All I could do is get underneath the covers? Like no. Ah We're almost there, we're like 83%. 83% is a good percent. Nothing out here. That's a hand. Uh-uh. Mmm. I saw you. I saw you. Go back to sleep. What is what are you? Why is there a skeleton fl Why are there skeletons in my bedroom? Like, I get it, they're in my closet because it's like, oh, you have skeletons in your closet, but that's not what that is. That's not what that is at all. That's definitely not what that is. And I don't like it. It can leave me alone. So let me go to sleep. Let me just finish this. Ah, uh, uh, get down. Get down. That little stupid mole rat. Ugly little thing. Now there's like One hair on my skin. You can do it. I can shut up. I know I can do it. I've been doing it for the last three or four nights. All right, we're back at Cottage Town. So Ethan and Daisy are behind it all. Hmm. Huh? That's not necessarily true. I need true. to contact a station on an outpost to call for help. There's got to be some long-range radio equipment on this island. Okay. Up there? Hmm. Okay, gotta get to the watchtower. Which is where we saw someone fall off and die. So that's always a fun time. So let's just get up there somehow. Climb on up. What's that? Let's see us up here. Hopefully no one's up here that pushed me off. Because that would suck. I would not like that at all. And why does this look so rickety? Why would you have a, such a rich, a rickety watchtower? Well, the long-range radio is here, but some of the parts are burned to shit. Probably the lightning. <sighs> Damn it! What do I do now? Just cry. Hi. Oh, that might be Mark's radio. Was Mark involved? John, please listen. It's all over. Ethan. You don't have to be afraid of us anymore. We aren't going to hurt you. Our main goal is done here. I I, I don't trust that. Keep lying. Yeah, Ethan. keep lying. Both keep it going. You and Daisy have done a really good job of it so far. But what was that little monster thing? Listen, Daisy and I are both assigned for two things here: eliminate the people who are dangerous to revival okay. and test a drug. That's okay. It. That's I mean, that seems like a good time. Seems like a good job. Test drug. That didn't go as planned, of course, but the okay. people who needed to be gone are gone. And you, you were supposed to be kept alive for later examination. No? Oh. Oh. So all I am to you is a lab rat. And what happens when I'm no longer needed for this examination? Yeah, what happens? Tell me, Ethan. Field experiments are usually disposed of when they are no longer needed. And I ain't getting disposed of. But what if you and Daisy had succeeded in drugging me? What if the drug killed me or drove me mad? You probably would have had to kill me. Mm -mm. John. What? What, Ethan? I witnessed three people die right in front of my eyes. And my own it life was put angry. at risk. After going through something like that, do you really expect me to trust you? Absolutely. You should trust your him life was never put like it's risk, nothing John. else. Like he's your mother. There's no gas in that cottage. It was just a game to keep you occupied. While Tom was suffocating in his cottage. Not true. I died I from it and it killed me. Daisy. Let's just end Tom in his sleep. She really insisted on playing that sick, sadistic game instead. 
Something I knew something was wrong. wrong with her. I knew something was wrong with Daisy. I never I liked her. Cause any more trouble. She she automatically accuses me. Sure. I did not like it. I'll be a loyal minion of revival, and not cause any trouble. <laughs> Listen, if you'll do anything stupid or put the company at risk, we'll have no choice but to. But to what? Yeah, yeah. You'll do this or you'll do that. I like this guy. I like the protagonist. Good luck, Ethan. Have fun with Daisy. Yeah, have some fun with Daisy. Screw you, Ethan. You suck. God. I do hope that my signal can reach someone. Anyone out there. Okay. Need to make sure that Revival doesn't intercept it. How do we go about doing but that? But before I do that, I need to get this radio equipment working first. Mm-hmm. How? How? The underground facility. That's it. I remember reading about this island. They had a lab in plain sight when the island was still a vacation resort. Okay. This radio might have come from the facility in the first place. Okay. I bet there might be some spare parts for it laying around there. It's worth a shot. Alright, so how do I get there? Hmm. Show me the way. This might unlock the pathway to the underground facility. There wouldn't just happen to be a key. I'll locate the entrance to the underground. Okay. Do I have a flashlight? Uh, at all? Yeah, F. Alright, let's go find this underground facility. As we get down this rickety old watchtower that is definitely not up to standards and needs to be fixed. But I knew there was like some, no, there's like a board over here that say anything. Map of the island. I'm at the watchtower. Uh... Wait, it says... Oh, parts. Okay, so I'm zero parts out of six. Dodge. Watch tower. Okay, I'm not really sure how to get there, though. I have to find the way to the underground. Is it across the bridge? It says, like, one's at the resort. And we're at the, the lab area. Watch tower. Let's go down this way. Oh, oh! Found it! Look how easy that was. Look at that. Ooh, spooky wasteland type vibes. Okay. This is the way I need to go. Ooh, look how spooky. Look how spooky it is. Is there anyone down there? Ah, ah, ah. I almost jumped off the side. Oh, that would have been so stupid. This reminds me of the little uh, race, like little, uh, I don't know how to describe it, little bridge or stairs. What would you call this? I don't know. But we had to um, run through them and jump off of the things in the, like, it was the first or second night. And we had to run around. I died there, but yeah, it's a lot like it because there's pieces missing. And somehow we have enough strength and confidence in ourselves to just jump it. Well, we don't know if we could jump it back again. So that's fun. Ah, no, I, I see like that. Like that. That was what I was afraid of. Just that exact thing. Just falling off and dying. Because, you know... We were definitely in good enough shape to jump all this. But don't mind the upgrade run. Okay. I thought it was going to fall. It's a lot better than climbing down all these stairs that I don't like dealing with. I'm just afraid someone's going to jump out. And ah! Stop that. That is evil. You can't do things like that. Okay, that's not cricketing of the stairs anymore. That's a monster. There's something down here with me, isn't there? There's gotta be. There's no way it's just a, this weird path. Like, also, if you're building this pathway, why do you design it like this? This has to be the most tedious walk ever. Like, not only would an elevator do just fine, but also, just the mere fact that it doesn't make sense to have to keep up, turn, up, down I go, up, turn, up, a random jump for some reason. Ooh. I gotta choose. Oh, that leads to death. That leads to death. Ah, get up. Okay, get back up here. See, like, I know there's just some rock holding up things. That doesn't make much sense at all. Stop that. That's not safe at all. At least this place has a little bit more advantage if someone's chasing me. I can just grab a rock and throw it at its head. Like, you. You. Sir, I am looking at you. Yeah, you better fade away. You better disappear. You better go, Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. Because I, I was not about to have it. You are about to face the wrath of whatever my character's name is. You're about to face the wrath. 
dreaming. Okay, we were dreaming the whole time. Hmm. The power is out. Okay. I should try to restore it somehow. How is that any of my problem? All the doors have motorized security locks. I won't be able to open them without restoring the power first. Okay. Okay. Laboratory power room. So power room's this way. Just keep going down the hall until we find the power room. Library power room. This way. To the power room. Library This way. To the power room. This way. To the power room. Library. A bathroom that's probably closed off. Power room. This way. A cracking of bones. Yay. Hi, Mr. Camera. Are you watching me, Ethan? Power room. Ooh, spooky ominous. Anything on this side trying to kill me? Just random barrels for some reason. That's not a concern of mine at all. I shall read the note now. That's a long note. Uh, My name is Michael O'Carell. I was a psychological researcher here at Revival's RL95 Human Reconditioning Center. Okay. Why in the past tense? Yeah, because why in the past tense? be reading these pages, I will already be gone. Why will you be already gone? To be frank, the probability of someone picking up these papers someday is very meager. Why is there Most a likely that day will never come and these pages will rot away along with this foul facility. Okay. My hope is that someday these pages will be found by someone, but if not, well, at least writing these pages will help me to face this harsh reality and... Why not just send out a tweet or something? Closure. That'll reach a lot more people. Right before the end, I had to leave something behind anything to prove that I existed and to document what really happened here. Okay. If by any chance you're actually reading this, well... I am. Well, I'm listening. writing these more worth it. Okay. If you've cared enough to read this one, my last wish is that you'll find the remaining pages as well, which are scattered throughout the facility. Okay, Hopefully, fine. Some of them will survive long enough. Okay. Thank you. That's fine. And good luck on your search you're for the pages. You're welcome. Not sure why I have to find all these pages. You had a notebook right here. You could have just, you know... Oh, look at the next one. Oh, this is the second note. You could have just done it all right here. You made this more difficult than it needed to be. And for that, sir, I'm not happy with you. I am not happy with your existence right now. Because you make my life a lot harder and scarier than it needs to be. Oh, why does it go up? I just need to turn on power. I'm assuming that's the generator over there. But I'm not sure. Because none of this architecture makes sense at all. And I could probably die at any moment from it. What's down Is that molten lava or something? What? What is going on in this this laboratory place thingy, bunker, whatever you are? Why? Why is this a thing? Why did you guys decide to build it like this? Like... <sighs> Power on? Okay. Did that... Was that it? Was that all I needed to do? Okay. Well, that's handled, I guess. That was quite easy to take care of. That was not concerning. I mean, that was quite easy. You just touch a button and go boop, and you're done. That way looks like death. Let's not go that way. We're not athletic enough to make that jump. So let's just not try. Let's just go back around and everything will be fine. Oh, we have to go to every layer. Okay. I understand kind of what's happening now. That's a scary fall. Yeah, that was what I was wanting to do. I thought that would be really cool. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look how cool that felt. I feel like a madman for making that jump. Just like, you know what? Screw my life. We're jumping for it. We're doing it. We're taking it. Ah! Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I thought I just fell to my death. Oh, uh, that was true fear of me having to restart. I was like, oh, no. I think this is the last one. Walk the beam. Walk the beam. Don't fall. Don't fall. Hi. There we go. That should unlock those motorized door locks. Hello. Now I could go look for those radio parts. How is you? How is you over there, Mr. Sir? 
Ethan, is that you? How has your day been? I'm sure I'm making it a lot more difficult than you want me to, but that's fine. Because nothing goes well without someone trying to make your life harder. Trust me, I would understand because you make my life quite hard. Here, let's jump. Make that jump. Thank you. See, look at that. Did you see? Look how cool that was, dude. Did you see that? Yeah, I disappeared. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Now, let me go get the motorized doors. What Noises. The hell? I should keep it quiet. Well, if the ground would stop being so loud. The library. Anything important in the library? Any important notes I might need? What? What? Where? 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 What's chasing me? I don't know what's chasing me. I don't even know what's chasing me. I. Uh, 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 what's chasing? What's chasing? What's chasing me? I don't see anything. It's just making a lot of noises. Where? Ah! Ah! It's a little mole rat guy! God! Hi. How are you, Mr. Sir? How are you? You're doing good? That's good to know. He left a note in here. A page that's similar to Michael's pages, but it's signed by James Sauna. However, it's badly damaged and only a single paragraph has remained intact. We tried everything to get out of this cursed facility. Our last option was to try to crack the concrete around the main entrance, making the metal doors loose and bust them out. Unfortunately, our hopes dwindled once we removed the plaster layer off the wall. There was a thick steel layer reinforcing the entire wall. With our resources, it would have been impossible for us to do any damage to it. The manual wheel lock was the only thing that would unlock the main metal door, but it was located on the other side of the door. Unless someone comes to save us from the surface, we're trapped here for good. That's always fun. Kill the patients. With drugs? Too many doses required. Direct contact? Too dangerous. Lock them up? Safe. No confrontation. Small risk! Yay! Okay, we found a part. We found the transformer. Good. Okay, that's good. We found something. Perhaps the best way to explain this cursed situation is to start with the social integration project. Okay. It was our duty as scientists to find a cure for the poor souls that were afflicted by severe mental illness and okay. to nurture them back into society. Okay, yeah. I always used to be against using humans as experimental test subjects, but... As you should be. This was different. Okay. It had a promise of a bright future for curing mental illness. Okay. However, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Interesting. That's a good By injecting quote. a series of our newly created drugs into the patients, our hope was to completely erase any signs of mental illness by resetting their psyche. Resetting is not a... As you might have noticed, the That's land above us had a secret purpose. Okay. Which was to act yeah. as the final testing ground for integrating our cured patients back into society. Okay, yeah. After many tests and drug injections later, our first patient was ready to be sent to the surface. To me... He seemed like a normal, happy, genuine was it Ethan? person, but... Was it Ethan? If that would have been the case, well... I wouldn't be sitting here in my last moments writing these pages. Okay! Thanks for the information, guy whose name I don't remember. I'm glad that you're dead now. Because you did bad things. You did bad things! I'm sure you were not complacent in any of it, but you did bad things nonetheless. Ah, who do I care? He's dead now. <laughs> Water room. Ooh, this is our swimming pool with a rebar sticking out of it. Look how fun! Rebar in the swimming pool? Oh, I love this business. Stabilize wa ah. Raising water pressure detected. Why? Please Why? find the water valves to prevent a hydraulic explosion. Hi like explosion! Why would there be an explosion? On the other side. Okay. Ah. Uh, come on. Okay, we took care of it. Woo! That was nice. Not sure why that would happen when we're here. Has been successfully stabilized. I would sure hope so. Okay. 
I would sure hope so. Is there any other places? Okay. Interconnecting bridges there for some reason. Okay. Hmm. A manual for the main report system. The annotation reads, when turned on, the main report system will use the speaker array to periodically announce key information to the employees. This system helps to notify and keep all the employees up to date. The system, also, has a post-blackout emergency mode, which will analyze and announce reports and other additional information about the status of the facility and the current situation. Okay, that's what was just talking to me, I suppose. That's a key box. Main report system online. Okay. I don't like that noise. No parts in here? Nothing important? There was no reason for me to do any of that? Oh, yes. You. You are important to me. You are a vacuum tube. Thank you. Thank you. I am really happy about that. The emergency. Hello? Will you disappear? Are you the disappearing type? Are you? Yeah, you're the disappearing type. Thank you. <laughs> what I'm about to tell you is something even I don't know the full extent of. Okay. During our first surface test, the reports indicated that everything was going as planned. Okay, that's always Despite good. Despite the know? early success. Eventually, we received a distress transmission from our observer that our patient had apparently snapped due to an unknown reason, oh. returning him to his horrid mental state. Fun. We can only ponder at what caused it. He has a knife. Either something must have provoked a traumatizing memory in the patient's subconscious, or, or it had to do with our drugs. Shame, Shortly shame, after, shame. Got to make better our drugs. Our underground facility was locked down as part of Revival's emergency protocol. The last thing we were told was to await further instruction from Revival. After a few days of radio silence, we started to question whether someone would ever come for us. Well, they I can tell you, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and spoil the story for you, bud. They don't. You're all dead. I'm here now, but you're dead. At least I hope so, because I don't want to deal with all that. That's some bloody mess I just don't want to deal with. Okay? Okay. A page that's similar to Michael's pages, but signed Susan Milga. Migla, Migla. However, it's a badly damaged and only a single paragraph has remained intact. One of our last meetings was about determining how to kill the patients. We had to choose between starving them to death or drugging them with untested drugs. The drugs were one of the main options, but they required very high doses, and their effects on the patients would have been absolutely horrific. Complete mental breakdown with nerve system de degradation and purulent skin rash. Neither option was civilized, but in the end, we chose starvation. Although it took more time. At least it required less of our involvement and was at least a horrible way to die. At least their last moments were not as gruesome as they would have been by using drugs. All great subject matter. All good times. All happy. All happy thoughts. Hi, ma'am. How are you doing? Thank you for making me a little bit more uneasy. Love you. A page is similar to Michael's pages, but it's signed by Sandra Vesma. However, it's very damaged, and only a few senses have remained intact. It all turned out to be for nothing. I genuinely thought that we could have done something really meaningful with our research, but in the end, our hard work had failed us. Why stop reading things? I'm trying to think. And in the aftermath, we had to kill them. I never wanted to hurt anyone, especially in such a horrible way. Even if we somehow managed to tr transmit a weak radio signal to the surface, I don't know if we'd even deserve to be saved now. Not after what we've done. I feel like I've lost part of what makes us me human. Admitting that does bring a sense of closure. Actually, I really don't have that much left to lose, do I? I guess not. There's a piece I need, though, and that's important. That's what I care about. That's what brings me closure. It's getting my butt out of here! So let's just go ahead and grab this. Let's just go ahead and... Hey, go ahead and grab that. Capacitator. That wasn't there just a second ago. Someone just Each day facility. felt like an eternity. I imagine okay. this is what prison feels like. But worse. 
There were only four staff members and six patients. Our supplies were dwindling rapidly and patients' conditions weren't getting any better either. The team of scientists I had once known quickly turned hostile towards each other. Fights over rations broke out and uncertainty about the patients grew stronger every day. Yeah. Unfortunately, they showed no signs of progress. In fact, many were regressing. Okay. Their future would rest upon what the group was willing to sacrifice for them. With attrition starting to set in, we had to determine a course of action to ensure long-term survival. Thing, so I don't know. As far as what had been going on up on the surface, uh, I'm pretty sure the police had investigated the island at some point, but and most likely revival you. cooperated with the know. government to cover up their dirty deeds. Bastards. <sighs> Sucks. They were the ones who cast us into this awful nightmare. Now, in the eleventh hour, in this grim situation, it was up to me to find a way to lead our broken group out of this misery. And you didn't because you're all dead. Not to spoil your fun, but you guys are all dead. So you didn't do a good job at leading, sir. No offense to you, I'm sure you're a great guy. Well, you're not because you, well, I think you are. You sound like a nice, you sound like a nice fella. But you were a failure as a leader. So have fun with that knowledge. We have not been in here. Follow the light. Follow the light. Okay, I'm following. Light. Okay, more light, more light, more light. Uh, more light, please. Which way? That way. There's light, there's light, there's light. Which way? I'm guessing this way. Yep, this way. That's a keep going. Follow that light. Yep, okay, 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 we're here. Just lead me. Lead me, light. Be a good leader. Be a good leader, light. Which way? Which one? This way. Come on, light. There you go. This way. Okay. This is really creepy. I'm not liking any of this. I'm not liking any of this. Why is this a place made like this? And who's helping me by giving me light directions? Is everything okay now? Here's the paper. And the ribbon. Okay, so now we have the ribbon cable. All we need is the amplifier. That's good. What the current situation led to is something that will haunt me till my last breath. Mm. In order to keep the remaining staff alive, a tough decision had to be made. What decision did you make? The biggest problem was the patients. They were draining our already minuscule resources with worsening mental conditions. It was dangerous to keep them alive. It became clear that they had to die. <sighs> yep. I hated that conclusion. I would too. It was morally wrong for me to decide who should live or who should die. But the odds were against them and there was no other I mean, way. Sadly, it's the right decision they made. I fought for a quick and torturous death for them. But no one was able to muster the courage to kill the patients directly. Did you all have weapons or anything? So, we sealed off the cell rooms, took the rations for ourselves, yeah, and that was, that was the plan the whole time, though, wasn't it? To starve them to death? I'll never forget how the patients screamed and cried for help in the most horrific, deeply unsettling ways. Mm. Three days after locking them in, I could hear them scraping, banging, and breaking things in their cells. Listening awful. to that made me feel like my skin was peeling off my bones, and I couldn't sleep for weeks. You guys were alive for weeks with that? This lasted 15 oh days, and then it faded away. We had gained supplies that would last us a while, but I couldn't look at anyone in the eyes anymore. I was trying to listen to what that PA said. Then, I don't know. It like was just us four left. Okay. Oh, that's tough. That's rough and tough and tumble. And not happy. Not good vibes. Not the best of vibes. That That's not a way out. Flee! Flee! Which way's the exit? I don't know which way's the exit. 
Why are things following me? What do things want me dead? Why do things want me dead? Come on, let me go, let me go! I don't like any of this. Come on, get me out, get me out, come on. Get there, come on, just keep running. You get, you did track in high school, you can do this! You can do this! Exit, exit, exit. Follow the light. Follow the light! What happened? What? What? We still have everything. I don't know what that was about. Oh, did I lose? All the lights are out, though. Uh, lounge room, subject cells. It's gonna make me go to the subject cells, isn't it? Close the doors. Close. Close. Not this one again. I hate this one. Close. Next one. Where? This one. Get, get, get back in your room. Ain't time to get up yet. It's not time to get out of bed yet. You go like to sleep. You go like to sleep. Go back to sleep. Uh, uh. Close that. Where? Uh, uh. Nope. Close that door. Come on. Come on. Close. Come on. Hey, hey, you stop it. You stop making noises. There's no way you're still alive. This is all an illusion. There's no way you guys are still alive. You guys have been here for a long time. Unless the medication they gave you is like a super venom thing. A superpower or whatever. I can't even think straight. A cure to, you know, sleeping or living? Oh, that's rebar. Close. Ah, uh, close. What's the stressful? There's so many... Did I do it? Did I do it? I did it. I did do it. Okay, was there a point in that? Was there really a point in any of this? I can't open all these. Okay. Alright, that one's been opened. I don't know if I want to open these after what I just dealt with. Like, why... Why am I exploring these now? I guess to see what they dealt with or what they did, but like... I don't... This is closed with rebar. That's a lie. I thought there was like a skull or eyes glowing. I'm just gonna make sure there's like no paper or part in here. That's the last one. Okay. Time to there get we go. the hell out of here. Yeah. Exit the underground and get back to the surface. Okay. There's a the paper. Last one. Michael's well. his name. That's right. I guess no one will be coming after all. Nope. This is the I'm sixth late. and final page I will leave. God, you wrote a lot. You had a lot of time, didn't you? just can't take it anymore and have all decided to check out early. Mm. So I am the only one left. Oh. Well, good job, so Michael. You're a trooper. You stayed in it. And in all honesty, I no longer have the will to carry on. Mm. I watched them have came like the I day after. I this thing, though. I mustered the courage to go to the patient cells and put them in body bags. Matt, okay. That was the least I could do for them. Yeah. After I all, like Michael. they were the ones who got the bad end of the deal. Yeah. Somehow, right when the facility went into lockdown, I had a feeling that it would eventually come to this, but I still had the tiniest shred of hope God. that I would see the light of day again. God, that's hard to do. And deal that with. I could quit revival, finally start a family, and have a kid or two. Oh, but, he didn't even get to have kids. Oh. Unfortunately, that dream will die in somber darkness. God. In this meager time which I have left, my regrets lie within these pages. And I hope that someone will use them to bring God. justice to revival who have escaped from it for too long. Map. The power room is the place where I'll do it. Oh. Where I'll finally wake up from my torturing nightmare. I this is my farewell to you. Where was this Who body at? See it earlier. Through these pages. My dying guy? wish is that what happened here and what we went through is never forgotten. Oh, it won't be. I'm scared. The future of this story is now in your hands. Okay. Goodbye. Please don't. 
please don't let anything behind me. Michael Ocarell. Ocarell, thank you, Michael. Good, good story. Exit, exit, exit. Okay, nothing's chasing me. Nothing. You're saying, you're saying nothing's chasing me. Okay, I guess we gotta get back up here somehow. We should, it, whoa! I knew something like this would happen. I knew it. I just I knew it. Knew something would happen where I'd start getting chased. I have to escape this. I, I don't know. Death trap. Somehow. I can't see the road. I can't see the pathway, and that's dangerous. I just keep running. Keep up your aerobic capacity, bud. You're okay. You can do this. Ah, you're trapped. Ah, I died. He caught me somehow. Not sure how he caught me, but he did. He did. He went, I gotcha. I, ah, he did something. I don't know. To have a staircase this convoluted in the first place is just dumb. We're out. We're out. Whew. Okay, we're past it. I think. I think we have to go to the watchtower probably though. So we can get the systems going. Or it might just end here. Yeah, close that door. Close that door and never go back. I think you'll be comfortable here for a nice long time. I don't know if I'd leave him. No, please, ah. please don't understand. You've got to let me out. She, she has the second key. Second key. You really think I can trust the person who most likely just tried to harm me? Did no. You? I think you'll stay in this shell for uh, good. I don't know if I could do that. I, I don't know if I could do that. To get you to they might have. No. You just wanted to have me under control so that I wouldn't do anything against your interests. Am I right? Am That's... I right? This is tough. You would have listened to me on the radio and wouldn't have run away from me down there. We would have had a chance to talk things through. I mean, yeah, we could have talked about things. You probably still would have killing me. Even the main concern now. It's Daisy. Daisy, There's where you at? Seriously wrong with her. We still have a chance to take care of her. That that she got stabbed with. Mmm, okay. She's completely has. There's nothing to talk through. I've heard enough of your lies already. Mm. Even even if that's true, I'll make sure that neither of you or revival will kill me. I'll get a chainsaw and kill you, you know, like I'll get a chainsaw and kill you. And you think you'll actually succeed? Hasn't this damn company done enough already? How many people have to die and suffer in Revival's shadow? Hmm. This is my only chance to put an end to this. Science has always demanded sacrifice. Whatever okay. few lives mean in the grander scheme of things. I don't agree with that. Don't agree. Don't let the greater good thing. Really mm -mm. The, the whole greater th good thing is just... Uh, I don't... It's not good. No one's life should be put in the way of something else. You switched up real quick, dude. Enough! Don't you dare mention that ever again. I will put an end what to did this we myself. Do? Ethan, keep going. I want to know. John... We're in the middle of nowhere. The only signal you'll ever receive on that radio will come from Revival. That's cool. The closer I am, we'll see. Easier is to hear. Okay. I gotta go to the radio tower now. Alright, let's go up. Okay. Where's Daisy at? She's gotta be around here someplace. Alright. Let's get this fixed. I don't think we know how to fix it. Like, how do we just know how to fix something like this? If I was put in this there, situation, I'd have no, I'd have do. no clue. Now let's see who's out there. This is Pine Tree Island. Does anyone copy? Hello, this is Pine Tree Island. Does anyone read me? Nope, not at all. Can't understand a single thing you're saying, bud. Is, is anyone out there? Anyone? Please, this is an emergency. What's this? What is this? I don't like. Uh, no! Please stop making those noises. Attention. 
This is Revival's emergency system. Your emergency transmission was already oh, no. sent. Oh no. Revival is aware of the situation. Please do not broadcast this signal again. Do it anyway. An evacuation transport is on its way. Uh, this radio equipment will self destruct in three, two. Get out, one. whoa! No. No, 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 no. <sighs> That's Shit. stupid. That is so stupid. That was my last chance to escape from revival. How that the was hell do they stupid. already know what was going on? How did they make it self destruct? Fuck. That's what do really I do cool. now? That is really cool. Why did you lock up my partner, John? How rude. Daisy, you shut did your you mouth. I actually try to call for help on that radio. Ah, uh, yeah. That seems like the intelligent John, thing to do. I told you the only signal you'd ever get on that radio would be from Revival. Oh, and thank you, Daisy, for letting me out. <sighs> Great. You do know that Great. contacting outsiders doing secret research at high treason against the company, right? I'm afraid it's no longer optional to keep you alive, John. Yay! <laughs> so you two are teaming up against me. Yeah, that's been the, the whole goal all along. <laughs> I do admit, you two make a really good team. Honestly. Despite the fact that one of you is trying to turn against the other. Oh. Isn't it right, Ethan? Oh? What's he talking about? Oh? What an act, John. Don't listen to that liar. Oh? Like what a good instigator. I like that. Of course, Ethan. Of course I'm lying. Why on earth would you want to ditch Daisy to work with me? It's not like you didn't beg to let you out. Just so we could team up against her. Yeah. Why would you ever do that? Yeah. Come on, Ethan. No, no, of course not. Yeah, really come on, Ethan. That nonsense he's spitting out. Give me a break. She's not rational well, right now. All the proof was up there. Where one can see everything. The emergency system. Mm. When I turned on the power to the radio, the emergency system did too. Automatically locking the radio system to a specific frequency. You hear that, Daisy? When it connected. It showed a message saying that it had already been used to send an emergency signal. Oh. Now, it is possible that poor Mark was the one who tried to send the emergency signal first, but I feel like that wasn't the case. Oh. I think one of you might know better. Huh. But if it was really Ethan, then wow. Ethan lost confidence in Daisy really quick. You hear that, Daisy? She don't, they don't love Shut you! Up. Daisy, let's not waste our time with this. If we want to kill him, we have to do it before they arrive. Why? Daisy? Daisy's behind you, bud. You didn't have faith in me. Oh, she's on set. What? No! I have faith in you. I've always had faith in you. His voice sounds so familiar. You got scared. And you lost faith in me. Uh, that's I would not too. true. I, I. He's gonna throat slit. You couldn't handle what was going on. Do you believe something is not right <laughs> with me? I ah. think you're fine. There's nothing wrong. Your mm -hmm. actions speak otherwise. <laughs> I see. That's why you didn't kill him down there right away. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Uh. Daisy. Listen. But if he was down there with me, why don't we ever see it run into him? When someone betrays you, when someone turns their back against you, not caring at all for you. Come on, stop it. Where is this even coming from? Remember what we're assigned here for. We're supposed to work together. We're supposed to work together. All my life, I've been pushed around and used like a doll. No more, Daisy. So hard you let him have it, Daisy. You get him. I always like self-confidence and strength. Daisy, you're strong now. No. You're strong enough. Now it's different. Oh, it's I different now, I feel like Ethan. I've broken free from the chains that kept me tied down for so long. You get him, girl. Long. There you go. For the first time in my life, I feel alive. There you go. Daisy, please, think about this. Yeah. I'm in charge. You understand me? I, I understand. Daisy's in charge. And I will not let Daisy. anyone push me aside ever again. Ever! So scary. You stand in my way and let me move now. Oh, God. Did I die? What happened? 
Oh, he's dead. That's him. He's dead. Ethan is now dead. Ethan, dead. Ethan, dead. Ethan's very dead. Do we wake up now? That's one vivid nightmare. Jesus. Hi, AB. How you doing, buddy? Do you guys see my dreams, AB? Do you guys see what happens to me? Okay. Wow. Oh, we're out of bed now. We're out of bed? Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. How is you? Hello. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Killer. To be concluded. God, that's, that's so good. In the full release. Yep. Last episode, last night, until it's fully released. Wow, I don't even know where to begin. That night had just so much to unfold. Like, you know, now Daisy's against Ethan, but their their whole goal was to kill us the whole time. And there's people down there who were stuck in that shelter, and they were stuck there for a long time. And they had to, do, the people they were testing stuff on, they had to listen to them die as they locked in the cage so they can grasp for any life they could have themselves. And those poor test subjects to be sitting there starving to death and you have no way out and you just know there's people outside watching and everything and there's people who can hear you and no matter how loud you scream or groan they are still not doing anything about it that's intense and now daisy's against ethan we <laughs> god we we got we messed ethan up bad we're just like oh actually you know ethan was trying to team up with me did you hear about that daisy yeah yeah, he already called the emergency broadcast system because he was, he was scared. He don't trust you, Daisy. Oh, we instigated that bad. We instigated that like a like a kid in middle school trying to get their high, their little bully thrown away. God, that was, wow. I really do enjoy this game. I, I'm really excited to see what happens when the game is fully released. Like, I really am looking forward to it. That's probably one of the best horror games. There's a claw. Okay, that's probably one of the best, if not the best horror game I've ever had to the pleasure of playing that was that was fun and i'm just excited to see what, how it ends like there's just so much going on so many different layers and the voice acting is so good oh, i just i just love it i'm sure there's little things here and there that like could be improved but overall i have really enjoyed playing this game and i hope you guys have too but that's enough of my yipping yapping and just talking about everything if you guys have enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and go ahead and ring that bell that bell will notify you of when i post next but thank you guys so much for watching, and have fun, and stay safe.